Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about something really quick. Um, it's kind of a big thing right now. <laughs> um, I want to talk real quick about the Supreme Court overturning Roe versus Wade. Um, I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it simple. Uh, I just, I have a little bit to say about it, so these are my thoughts. So, <clears throat> I fully support it. Let's just get that out of the way right now. I know there's going to be people raging in the comments right now. Um, if you see this, I mean, you know, not like a bunch of people are going to see it anyway. So that being said, I support it because I believe that the government does not need to be in our business. I think big government needs to stay the fuck out of our business as a whole. Um, the government was meant to uphold the Constitution and to protect our inalienable rights. You do not have an inalienable right to an abortion. You just don't. Um, you have the right to protect yourself. You have the right um, to say whatever you want. You have the right to... Uh, I lost my train of thought. To practice whatever religion you want or not practice any religion. Um, but you do not have the right to harm another person, which technically abortion does. That being said, I am pro-choice and I'm also pro-life. Let me explain. I think abortion should be available for those rare instances where a, a woman is raped or, you know, if incest is involved or if it's a child becoming pregnant. Like, I started getting my period when I was 10 years old. If I had been raped, I could have gotten pregnant, you know, as a child. Uh, so I do, I do think that abortion should be an option in those cases. And I know they are rare. I know that doesn't happen very often. It's like less than 1% of the people, of the women who get abortions, um, you know, are rape victims or victims of, you know, pedophilia or incest or anything like that. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that there's already clauses in the states that ban abortion or uh, if it's medically necessary, like in topic of pregnancy, they, you know, a mother's life is in danger and there's no chance that the baby can develop in the fallopian tube anyway. So they're not going to... Uh, they're not going to ban abortion an abortion in that case. Like even the most backward state, you know, not that there's any backward states. There's just anyway, getting off on a little bit of a tangent there. So, but I am, I am against abortion as birth control. I am against abortion as I just can't do it right now. I don't have the money. I, you know, any of those excuses, like if you're responsible enough to be having sex, you're responsible enough to be using birth control. Full stop. If you don't want to get pregnant, make sure you take the steps to not get pregnant. Like I spent my twenties and thirties having a lot of sex. Like I, 
I was a slut. <laughs> and I didn't want to get pregnant. And I didn't want to, you know... So I took precautions. Like, I got my tubes tied. I already had one kid. That was enough. You know, it's possible. Like... There are ways to not get pregnant. Don't use it as birth control. And I certainly think that it should be illegal after, like, I'd say 12 weeks. Because at around 12 weeks, that fetus is developed enough that it feels it. And it's a life. Whether you want to call it a life or not, it's a human being, you know, and it deserves a chance to live. So all that being said, that's how I feel about it. I agree with SCOTUS overturning Roe versus Wade because... The federal government should stay out of our business. The way our constitutional republic was set up, it was set up so that the states could govern themselves. And that's what this is. Abortion has not been banned on a federal level. They are not coming after your birth control. They're not coming after your contraception. People have been screaming about that for 40 years. I'm 43 years old, and I remember back in the 80s, you know, my babysitters and their friends screaming about how the government was going to take away their birth control. That's not going to happen. It might not be federally funded. You might have to pay for it yourself, but maybe some of you should take responsibility for yourself. You know, I don't know, maybe don't re rely on the government for everything. And it should, the decisions should go back to the state for almost everything. Except for our inal inalienable rights that are in the Bill of Rights in the Constitution. So, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I got. I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. The states should have control over... Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. If you're in a state that bans abortion or limits abortion, and if you don't like it, then vote different. Try to change your state's mind because that's what a state is. Like, I'm in Minnesota right now, which is a very democratic state. Uh, you know, it's pro choice. Abortions are legal here. Damn it. Uh, you know, but. A state like Texas or another, you know, a Republican state would probably have limitations on abortion. Um, so just, you know, you have options. Move to a state that is pro-choice if you want or vote because that's, that's what it, that's what it is. Like... It's taking it out of federal, the federal government's hands and putting it into your hands. It's giving you control. You vote for it. If you don't like it, vote different or move to a state that has your values. That's it. Okay. I'm done. Thank you.